Second Peter chapter 3. The promise of the coming of the blessed Lord. My precious friends, this is the second episode I now inscribe to you. In both episodes, I have endeavored to stir up your pure minds by reminding you of necessary things that you may ever be mindful of the words which were uttered previously by God's holy envoys and of the commandment from the blessed Lord and great Redeemer which was given you by the apostles. Firstly, you must clearly grasp that in these last days, scoffers will come, walking according to their craving and greed. And they will ask, where is the promise of his appearing? For since our phobias expired, everything has continued precisely as it was from the very start of creation. For this, they purposely ignore that long ago Almighty God gave an order and the heavens and earth were made. The earth was fashioned out of water and by water. And it was likewise by water, the great devastating flood, that the world which then existed was ruined. But the heavens and the earth that exist at this time are being sustained by the same order of Almighty God, that they may be ruined ultimately by fire. They are being preserved for the day when the ungodly and lawless will be judged and damned. But my precious friends, do not forget this, that with the Almighty Lord, a single day is as a millennium, and a millennium as a single day. A single day is as a millennium, and a millennium as a single day. The Almighty Lord is not sluggish in accomplishing His promises, as some people imagine. Rather, He is exceedingly patient with us. He is exceedingly patient with us. For He does not want anybody to be damned. He wants everybody to be penitent and abandon wrongdoing completely. But the day of the Almighty Lord will come, just like a robber in the dark. Just like a robber in the dark. On that day, the heavens will pass away with a tremendous noise. The heavenly bodies will melt with intense heat and be ruined. And the earth and all things established in it will disappear. And so, since all these things will be ruined suddenly, even as an unexpected surprise, what sort of people should you be? You must live holy lives. Live holy lives. And be devoted to Almighty God. As you wait patiently for the day of Almighty God and endeavor to make it come shortly, the day when the heavens will be dissolved with fiery heat and the heavenly bodies will melt with intense heat. Nevertheless, we will wait patiently for the promises of Almighty God. New heavens and a new earth where righteousness reigns. And so, my dear friends, as you look forward to that day, endeavor to be spotless and impeccable, spotless and impeccable in the sight of Almighty God, and to be serene, ever at peace with Him, do regard the patience of our blessed Lord as the opportunity he is providing you to be redeemed. Precisely as our beloved brother Paul wrote to you, employing the wisdom that Almighty God bestowed upon him. This is what he declares in each and every one of his epistles, inscribing extensively on these issues there are some difficult matters in his writings which unstable people lacking knowledge explain wrongly, twisting many things to their own ruin. 
as they do likewise the rest of the word of God. But you, my dear friends, knowing this in advance, keep watch, keep watch, that you may not be led astray by the errors of evildoers and fall from your secure place, from your secure place of steadfastness. But flourish in the divine grace. Flourish in the divine grace and knowledge of our blessed Lord and great Redeemer, Jesus Christ. To him be infinite glory, to him be infinite glory, both now and forever. Amen.